When you are old and grey and full of sleep and nodding by the fire, take down this book and slowly read and dream of the soft look your eyes had once and of their shadows deep. How many loved your moments of glad grace and loved your beauty with love false or true. But one man loved the pilgrim soul in you and loved the sorrows of your changing face. And bending down beside the glowing bars, murmur a little sadly how love fled and paced among the mountains overhead and hid his face amid a crowd of stars. You were going to Mulnasol to visit a sick child. I pleaded to come. It was a frosty morning. Spider webs dressed the hedges in silken threads. Beautiful. Were those webs on the hedges yesterday, Gran? Yes, but not visible to us because there was no frost or snow, I replied. Huh, no flies on you, is there, Gran? He smiled. Time changes things, but his smile did not. Nor his wonder. We searched for corn creeks, tadpoles, early birds' nests and woodlands, gazed at sunsets and mapped the stars. In the wardrobe, a green army uniform with bright shining brass buttons hung, a leather sheath sword and long boots. Is that why he always condemned wars? His hands are now nurturing and healing. We planted in and dug the garden soil, lifting beetles, worms and snails to safety singing my mother's songs out of tune. The fountains mingle with the river and the rivers with the ocean. The winds of heaven mix forever with sweet emotion. Nothing in the world is single and things by law divine in one another's being mingle. Why not I with thine? See the mountains kiss high heaven and the waves clasp one another. No sister flower would be forgiven if it disdained its brother. And the sunlight clasps the earth and the moonbeams kiss the sea. 
What is all this sweet work worth, if thou kiss not me? Oh, 2020, what have you done? You will be remembered in history for years to come. You stopped the world spinning round and brought us humans to the ground. You took my mother, what can I say? She died. She died on the 3rd of May. I stood outside her window. She faded slowly from life. I couldn't hold her, cut deep like a knife. I live alone, so no comfort, only fear. My children are gone and they couldn't get near. Oh, 2020, you will be forever known as the one who stopped the world and showed mercy to none. and go now and go to Port Adurus. I'll step high over the spring grass, through the swinging gate, across the field to the shore. I'll follow the path along the high tide line, through crackling seaweed and bleached driftwood. And just when I think I can go no further, I will see the open door, the portal. I will step down, bend my head and enter through the tunnel. There I will see the sunlight dribble over rainbow petals hear the waves lap, scour, stones grumble. All around the walls rise, an arena, a closed space, but open to the heavens. I will lie on soft pebbles, feel the caress of the breeze, see the gulls glide, the terns hover and swoop, the clouds enter and leave. I will stay and dream.
I will arise and go now and visit my friend, sit by her fire, have a cup of tea, give her a hug, shed a tear, say a prayer, I wait for news of her scan yesterday. I will listen to her story, her journey, her fears, her joys, her ups, her downs, her plans. We'll share a prayer, a chat, a cuppa, a moment in time. I will arise and go now. Uh I will arise and go now and go to Rathmullen Beach and walk along the sandy beach and watch the creamy waves lapping against the shore. My little dog running on the rocks, the sound of children squealing with delight as they paddle in the water and the waves come in against them and wet them from head to toe and their joy in building sand castles that only the tide will wash away. And looking across to Inch, where once a fort did stand, guarding the swilly from foreign invasion. I would be happy to live there and watch the water every day, tides coming and going. And I might even venture for a swim, as open seawater swimming is all the craze. <laughs> the joy of breathing bracing sea air every day and walk the beach once or maybe twice a day. So I will arise and go now and go to the lemon path on Maori. I will walk up the Corsa Regina and climb up the steep way to the church. I'll stop and rest there for a while as it's very hot and I'm out of breath and very dry. I'll take my time as I continue climbing up this steep part of the path. I stop for a breath every couple of minutes and look down at the views of the Amalfi Coast, the lemon groves stretching down to the houses of Maori and the blue bay beyond. I marvel at the little grottos full of tiny figures that are dotted into the hillside on the other side of the path. I seem to be climbing for a long time, but I know that soon I'll get to the top and then it'll be downhill all the way into Minori. The path twists and turns and occasionally I meet or I'm overtaken by another walker. And there in front of me is the place I've read about while doing my research. The lemon farmer who will sell you a glass of freshly squeezed lemon juice for a couple of euro. I gratefully sip it and am immediately refreshed and fortified for the path ahead. Soon I'm looking down on the rooftops in the Bay of Minori as I begin my descent from hill path to narrow alleys between houses and out into a little square where once I ate spaghetti with lemon sauce 
and watched a young man play tricks on his girlfriend as he ducked behind a tree planter in a game of hide and seek. <laughs> I will arise and go now and go to Glen Cree, to that little cottage in the hills with its warm heart and comfort there. The bracken and the foxgloves with early summer blooms, the sweet smell of the turf fire burning. We children let loose to go wild in the hills. What fun to run free, play hide and seek and sit quietly playing with our fairy flowers. I will arise and go now and go to Glen Cree. Such happy childhood, childhood memories, but alas, the cottage long been pulled down, the bracken and the foxgloves still happily blow. At my age now, I sit here and dream of those happy times long, long ago in the mountains of Glen Creek. When I was writing and then when I was blending, I thought, well, really, it's no different to life. We really have no control over it. So wherever it goes, you know, it's, it's you might set off with one idea in your head, but you very seldom end up where you, you know, where you thought you were going to go.
and I think what's what's important for us as an elderly group of people is that Denise herself would admit that she didn't start writing until she was older and therefore you know not to be afraid to put pen to paper or to put you know to put a, a brush to, to to a canvas or no matter what age you are that that you know there are skills within all of us that, that need you know and something it just takes something to open it Don't feel old, just different. Don't feel old, just new. I don't feel old, just starting. I don't feel old, just moving on. I don't feel old, just look old. I don't feel old, just in the body. Don't feel old, just not in the mind. I don't feel old, just made feel old. I don't feel old, just wish I wasn't. I don't feel old, just not yet. It is still a beautiful world. Be cheerful. Strive to be happy. In this time of lockdown, yeah, and mm. when we could, you know, lose ourselves and be become down and out, mm. we, we still have to keep going and keep on the even keel in life. I think it's very I think it's very apt for ladies of our age. The, the line that stands out for me is take kindly the counsel of the years, gracefully surrendering the things of youth. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm having good. I'm having difficulty with that. <laughs> we all are. I'm having difficulty. I'm being honest, I'm having difficulty. Um, I just I think I just made a mess, but I, I made a happy mess. I suppose it's a bit of uh, looking at it now from experiencing, you know, the feeling, well, maybe you don't, but some of us, when you go in through your fifties, at times you can feel a bit invisible. And I've felt that at times, but now uh, I'm into my sixties <laughs> and thanks to this group, I've, I'm, I'm feeling sort of reconnected with my pilgrim soul in company with a few other pilgrims. So thank you all for that.